So welcome to AI TV. Today we're broadcasting from Cape Town and it's a great pleasure to welcome James Milne from Westgrow. James, welcome to AI TV. Thanks very much. Great to be here. Now, James, for people that don't know, uh, do you want to explain a little bit about Westgrow and, and, and your role, what, what, what Westgrow is all about here in the region? Sure. So I'll try and give you a, a, a sort of snapshot overview. Um, Westgrow does, does quite a wide variety of things, but in a very broad nutshell, um, we are tasked by our funders, which are the City of Cape Town and the Western Cape Government, um, to execute upon three promotional mandates. Um, that's promotion of Cape Town and the Western Cape in the fields of tourism, trade and investment. Um, and so, you know, we're looking to bring people here to the province. We're looking to help them uh, invest or find investment opportunities. And we're also helping to build up local businesses through uh, helping them to grow their export potential globally. Um, in terms of my specific role, I head up the investment promotion unit. So um, our role really is two things. One, it's helping foreign investors uh, invest here in the province as easily as they possibly can. Um, and that's an end-to-end -end process of just uh, helping them understand the business culture here and really set up and commercialize their business as easily as possible. Um, the second component of what we do is, is then working with established businesses that are here in the province, um, either foreign or local businesses, uh, and we help them grow through, uh, you know, probably quite often uh, helping them access funding, but also, you know, being a government entity, we, we really look at how we can also solve or help them understand uh, that navigating the government bureaucracy. So, you know, walking through any challenges that they might be experiencing. Okay. Now, obviously we met through the work we're doing with AI Expo, um, Africa's largest AI trade show, which we host here in Cape Town. And that's very much about bringing buyers and suppliers together. And it was great that, that you guys came on board this year. I mean, w what are you seeing in terms of, I mean, obviously tech is a broad topic and we know that Cape Town is broadly the AI or sort of tech digital hub of, of Africa. What, what are you seeing in terms of some of the trends there and, and things that you're hearing from, from tech companies in this space? Yeah, so I think, you know, as you say, it's, it's, it's an exciting space. Um, uh, we're, we're definitely seeing some really strong growth in the sector. We're seeing some good uh, global recognition of some of our companies. Um, you know, if we, if we pick on some broad subsectors, I think we've, we've had some exciting businesses being built in the fintech space. Um, and often those are businesses that are really looking Pan-African rather than, than being Cape Town or South Africa oriented. So I think that's really exciting. Um, we're seeing some really uh, exciting applications in the agri-tech space. Um, and then also, you know, some, some, some things happening in, in sort of manufacturing where companies are incre increasingly applying AI technology. And I think it's, it's a really exciting space. And I think Cape Town's a really attractive proposition for, for companies that are looking at, at setting up here to service the, the Pan-African market. Um, but also um, you know, to, to access some really strong talent um, in, in, in a place that offers people a really great lifestyle. So, you know, as you said, we, 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 we do think of ourselves as, as the, the digital tech hub of, of the African continent, and I think we are just at a starting point. I think there's really gonna be um, some significant growth over the next 10 years, and hopefully some, some really big, exciting companies will be built out of Cape Town that will service not just the continent, but actually the rest of the globe as well. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I think when we started looking at setting up our, uh, our community two years ago, we did it because there really wasn't this community. The fintech community is probably arguably maybe three years ahead of us. So I think AI is a really exciting opportunity for startups and uh, mid-size and, and, and corporates mm -hmm. to, to be here in South Africa as a launch pad into the wider Africa. Uh, one of the things that I've always been trying to encourage is people from the embassies to bring inward missions to our community. We had the French this year and it was amazing to hear their feedback. Um, some of the companies that we uh, spoke to, we, we had the, uh, the head of uh, R&D from NVIDIA, one of the largest global chip manufacturers in the AI space, their first time or his first time in Africa. So it, it was really interesting to see that now people are coming here and they are seeing it as a destination for trade. What can people do if they wanted to come here? Where, where, should, I, where should I point them to in terms of 
advice and um, next steps in terms of growing sure. a business here? No, sure. So, I mean, you know, I, I think from my perspective, the easy answer would be to, to always um, start with Westcrow. Westcrow, um, okay. You know, we see ourselves as sort of the government um, arm that would, would be the point to deal with businesses that are coming in. We offer a free service, so we're, we're going to be uh, helping companies out understand uh, the business environment. And we also help people plug in. Um, two, you know, we, we host a lot of business delegations, so we're, we're very good at understanding where they perhaps might want to go and engage a few businesses or really uh, get a few case studies done. Um, but I'd also, uh, it's worth highlighting um, that we work hand in hand with, with our partners. So um, there's a nonprofit entity called Silicon Cape that we work very closely with um, that, that's also very strong at plugging businesses into the local tech ecosystem. Um, and so we see them as a, as a really close collaborative partner uh, in terms of businesses that are coming here. And I think, you know, if you look at the bigger, broader picture, you've also got the city of Cape Town, the Western Cape government, and then municipalities um, that sit on, the, sit on the sort of outskirts of, of the city as a region, but somewhere like Stellenbosch, which is really a hotbed of innovation. So, um, you know, we, we maintain really good relationships right across the board there. And so, as I say, we'd be a good starting point, but we very much leverage the contacts of, of uh, the stakeholders that we work with. And, um, you know, we, we've been doing this for more than 30 years. So we, we really are very comfortable understanding what a business or an entire delegation might want, what their requirements are like, and then putting together a program for them to really get some benefit out of uh, plugging into the local ecosystem. Well, James, I, I'm, I'm getting inquiries now f following our show and your involvement, and I'm obviously going to push them back towards you. But, um, I mean, just to wrap up, it, where can people go in terms of the, the website to find out more about Westgrow? Cool. So, yeah, it's a, it's a nice plug for the fact that we're actually about to launch our new website, I believe, um, within the next month. So, um, hopefully, uh, that's just www.westgrow.co.za. Uh, Westgrow is an interesting one. It's It's probably not what people would think. Uh, it's, it's just W-E-S-G-R-O uh, without a W on the end. But certainly uh, once our new website's up and running, you'll be able to find uh, anything at least as a starting point that you might be looking for. Um, you'll obviously be able to connect to our teams directly. Um, but I think maybe what's most interesting is that on that website will be contained, number one, all of the reports that our research team has published over the last uh, five years. So you're looking wow. at, at up, upwards of 500 reports on the, the local economy, um, which people will be able to access for free. So I think that's a really nice starting point to get yourself aware of what's going on in the, in the ecosystem. Um, and then secondly, they're, they're publishing an up-to-date events calendar that covers all streams that we look at. So tourism, trade, and investment, um, which means that you, you should be able to get a view on everything that's happening within the Cape Town and Western Cape business ecosystem, you know, whether it's a tourism event or whether, whether it's a business related event. So I think a great starting point will, will be there. Well, James, thanks very much for joining us here on AI TV and we look forward to working with you much closely in the months and years to come. Thanks very thanks much. Thanks very much and congrats again on a, a great event this year. Looking forward to the next one. Yeah, fantastic. Cheers.